Records that we have here during the night. Okay, how do you do? You have to wipe these uh, habitats and that sort of thing. It actually works off an acclimation process that takes months and months of planning and slowly getting the animals used to being out a little bit later and, and having different enrichments at different times. It's really a unique process. So. Uh, the kids want to stay towards the, the front of the park, at least the, the, the easily scared kids, and then uh, the older ones get to the to the back. Well, there's actually a dance party here, and then there's an Egyptian dance party there. So you've got mummies out here that you can mingle with. You've got an, a separate section just for the kids in the Pumpkin Palooza. It's like a fall festival. And then we have four other themed areas throughout the park. Donnie Gallagher, stay right here. Don't go anywhere. Uh, coming up, we're going to talk about the entertainment here at Creatures of the Night. We're also going to be talking about food and drink, some things you want to take advantage of. More good days have a band on the other side of this break. Keep it right here. Big center that went up in flames. The uh, three alarm fire started about nine o'clock last night at the Big and Deal Super Center at uh, 40th Street and Hillsborough Avenue. Four people were working inside when it started and they all got out safely. As soon as the building is safe to enter, the fire marshal's office will start investigating the cause of the fire. 804 right now, and clown hysteria is now taking a bite out of business. Target has announced that it's pulling clown masks off store shelves just days after Bay Area Goodwill stores did the same thing. Shayla is live of outside of a Target. Shayla, there are still some clowns, co clown costumes available. What's the difference here? Yeah, good morning to you. Right now we're hearing uh, the target changes mainly involve certain masks, masks that are no longer going to be available in stores and online. That is the information coming down uh, through the weekend. A spokesperson for Target did issue a statement saying, in part, given the current environment, we have made the decision to remove a variety of clown masks from our assortment. Now, it's unclear if this decision impacts all of the company's nearly 1,800 stores in the country. But in recent weeks, we can tell you authorities throughout Tampa Bay have investigated reports of creepy clowns on social media, in schools, and in the community. Some reported threats ended in arrests and charges. Arrests have actually included middle school students. Now, in a statement released through social media, the World Clown Association president denounced recent threats of violence and stated the organization stands with safety officers. The president calls for ending the trauma to individuals and communities, adding this is, quote, not the act of, profe of a professional clown. Now, if a clown costume is something you're determined to find for Halloween, and Target's not on your list and now, at least for anything further than a mask, we can tell you they're not the only store making changes. Again, uh, Goodwill made some changes just last week. Goodwill Industry Suncoast announced they would no longer uh, be offering the clown costumes this holiday season for Halloween, uh, and they cited the concerns after law enforcement indicated that uh, they were advising people not to wear those uh, Halloween costumes to avoid wearing Halloween costumes that involved clowns this year. And uh, according to the company, we're told uh, they no longer would be offering those costumes this year and will continue to keep you posted. That change actually impacts 18 Goodwill Industry Suncoast retail stores. Guys, back to you. All right, Shelly. Thank you. And we have this. If a kid in Chicago or Los Angeles wants to be a cowboy or cowgirl this Halloween, this could be off the list, too. Amazon.com will not deliver toy sets like this one to people in Chicago because of a municipal law in that city forbidding it. Many cities have been banning toy guns for years if they don't have that large orange stripe on the barrel, which makes it obvious that it's a toy. Pop guns are also included in the ban. Now, while these toys are off limits, one thing that can be shipped to these same places, accessories for real guns. We are now just weeks away from the presidential election, and some state officials are already preparing for what could be a violent day. This has already been a very contentious election, and now officials across the country say they are worried that some supporters will be standing watch, as they have been asked to do, and that could cause a lot of issues outside polling locations and could actually lead to violence or some people leaving without casting a vote. And because of this, there is a chance, especially here in the battleground state of Florida, that there will be lawyers volunteering at polling locations. Florida Secretary of State released a statement to the Washington Post saying security during elections and encouraging 100% voter participation is a top priority. Adding that the department takes elections fraud very seriously 
and they have safeguards okay. in place. And, um, he wants the same thing there is a new push to make sure everyone does vote. This one is by the Veterans so. Advocacy Organization, okay. Got Your Six. Okay, she said that they are asking she every American who says they want to thank a veteran to do so by voting. The reason, many people in the military so, served so that we as Americans had the freedom to go out and vote. All right, Dave's back in just a couple minutes. He's got the latest on our Sky Tower radar forecast. And then priced out of playtime. Dr. Joe is here with why some kids are not able to participate in some of these activities and how it impacts their health in the end. And then at 8.30, there's a roundup today, but it's not your usual suspects. These ones are a little more graceful. Ken Suarez is live for us in Lakeland with a story. Good morning, Ken. Oh, and Walter Allen in for Charlie Belcher this morning. Laura Moody, good morning to you. We are at Lowry Park Zoo. Creatures of the night. I found a creature of the night. Meet Templeton. He's a furry, fun little creature. We're going to see more creatures of the night coming up.